In this GeoMapApp tutorial, we'll look at Dietmar Müller et al's Seafloor Magnetic Anomaly dataset that's built in GeoMapApp under the Portals menu. To load the isochrons, we go under the Portals menu and select Seafloor Magnetic Anomaly Identifiers, and we see the digitized isochrons plotted in the oceanic areas. Let's have a closer look at the North Atlantic. We activate the Zoom tool and zoom in. Once we've finished zooming, we'll deactivate the Zoom tool, and by clicking on any of the digitized isochrons, we'll find information about it. For example, let's click this one here. Down in the lower left, we see that it's Anomaly 5 with an age of 10.9 million years, and that age is derived from the Candy and Kent model. The next isochron out is Anomaly 6 with an age of 20.2. Going further, we see we're on Anomaly 13, which is 33 million years. The next one is 18 at 40.2 million years, and so on. An interesting exercise that you could use with students, for example, is to measure the distance from the ridge axis and to have them plot distance from the ridge axis against seafloor age, and thus determine a spreading rate for each of the ocean basins. In order to measure distance from the ridge axis, the easiest way is to activate the Distance Profiling tool up here by clicking this button in the toolbar. Doing so loads the underlying digital elevation model grid. What we need to do is bring the anomaly identifiers back up onto the top layer, and we do that by clicking the Layer Manager And here we see the isochron dataset. By clicking the up arrow, we'll bring the isochrons back up to the top. And we can discard the layer manager. The distance is going to be given in the upper right corner of the GeoMap app window up here. Whenever we click on the map and drag the cursor around. For example, if we place the cursor on the ridge axis and drag it out to Anomaly 18, we see in the upper right corner a distance of 515 kilometers. And if we drag the cursor further out to this anomaly over here, we see a distance of 1,177 kilometers. And in that manner, we can measure the distance of each anomaly from the ridge axis. When the cursor is released, a profiling window appears, but because we were just after the distances, we can discard this window. More information about the magnetic isochron dataset can be found by clicking either the button here, or in the layer manager, we can click the information symbol here. Doing so brings up a web page with information. We come to this web page and we see the original 1997 JGR article here. More information about GeoMapApp can be found at www.geomapapp.org.